Okay, um, uh, with the uh, new uh, flood coolant system, uh, it's a okay. Um, I couldn't have run better. I'm very pleased. Uh, I was running into trouble, as you've probably seen on uh, other YouTube videos, uh, where people use a can of WD-40 or whatnot to coax the, the chips out of the way of the cutter and provide lubricant. I had done the same, as you've probably seen in my other videos. I got real tired of that real quick and wanted flood coolant, so I put my own thing together. Uh, the tubing uh, here is uh, a brake line. It's very bendable, uh, it's, uh, but sturdy. You can aim it where you like. I aimed it uh, at the point of cutting. Uh, I wanted two instead of one. So it would cause a flow back, so it wouldn't blow it forward at me and, and move the chips away. And uh, so I uh, used to, there's a bridge underneath, I welded them together so they, to add stability, they wouldn't uh, adjust themselves. Uh, take a welded a T up here and uh, Runs here and along the uh, at, uh, what is it? cable carrier and uh, comes back to, to a brass uh, brass coupler so I can uh, detach it if I need to uh, for whatever reason and uh, then it comes down into a sump the switch. Uh, there's a very small sump pump. It's surprisingly small. It's about it's about that big by that big by that big. It's a DC submersible pump. You can get them out of China. Um, I figured, what the heck? If it works, great. If not, whatever. But it, it it's it's working great. Uh, no problems. Uh, plenty of pressure. I wouldn't even want any more pressure than that. And. Uh, See, here's the flow back. I took a industrial uh, a box, I guess, plastic, very strong, and uh, checked it for leaks. And I checked that okay. And I checked it uh, that it wouldn't react to what I'm cutting with. And it comes out here and uh, flows back into the. Uh, uh, into the sump. Uh, then the surface uh, definitely, definitely is clean. Nice. Kept the uh, kept the chips at bay while it was cutting. I made it for a very, very smooth cut. And uh, I was able to take more off than I usually would uh, if I were just using a um, just squirting it on with a can or anything. Uh, and it's about, uh, I would say, a sixteenth of an inch. I can't remember what I programmed before, but it's about a sixteenth. And uh, I cut it with authority. No problems. Uh, so, well, that's, uh, that's a relief. <clears throat> I put this together uh, over a week ago. and was, uh, I wanted everything to sit sit like the uh, pump sit in the coolant see if it uh, reacted badly uh, to the fluid it didn't and uh, very pleased very pleased uh, as you can see I'm also downstairs again in my man cave where I belong <coughs> I uh, I took the, the construct the stainless steel box uh, off of the uh, cart that I originally had it on. Uh, I didn't like the whole thing being on wheels. I wanted something more solid. Uh, so I put it on the table. It's no big deal. And uh, yeah, everything's going pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. My next uh, 
I'm not sure when I'll be doing it. I'll be still doing work with this, but uh, I got a T-slot uh, table that will fit this uh, with a little bit of uh, jiggery pokery. I'm going to have to cut this back a ways or have an, another part uh, lasered out that will accept it going all the way back. It will give me much more uh, uh, X uh, travel <coughs> and, uh, and it's, it'll be heavier uh, so it'll give me more stability in the cut. Uh, right now I'm uh, what I'm using now it works just fine my my only issue with it it's uh, it's a half inch uh, cast plate uh, aluminum and so it is sturdy but I have no way to tie anything down and that's really going to be a pain I'm using clamps as I can but I can't put them in an optimal position sometimes sometimes I want one back here but I just can't do it because it'll it'll strike the uh, strike this arm so Everything so far is uh, pretty good, uh, but uh, now I need uh, uh, now I need to change uh, see the little things and, and change them and, and get them the way they should be running. And in the meantime, I'll I'll cut more stuff. And, uh, so after giving it a test run, uh, the aftermath is uh, good. I have no complaints. Uh, during the uh, during the milling, uh, the rubber I have covering my rails and keeping things at bay there and there. Uh, I had them duct taped to the table. That failed, of course. That's fine. I just wanted to see if that rubber would work well, and it did. So now they're being held on with uh, clips. Uh, the clips are. Uh, just normal medium binder clips that uh, you can get anywhere really. I just had some handy, uh, and you just pull the uh, pull the handles off, you just squeeze and pull, and it uh, and the clip just stays there. So uh, yeah, that keeps things much cleaner, uh, keeps the shavings off my ball screw assembly and such. So that's very good. I'll probably keep that uh, that idea with the clips until I get uh, well until I install a T slot table. I got a cast iron T slot table, and uh, I'll go to magnets then, as I did uh, back here. I have to pull this uh, this curtain forward because my when I uh, when I uh, uh, set all my axes to home there's a switch back there that needs to be tapped and this this curtain gets in the way so I, I can pull it off uh, there's, a, there's a magnet stapled in there and through it so I can pull this forward but, uh, and then refer all to home and then put it right back up so love the magnet the magnet thing that's that's super and uh, yeah, as soon as I get the steel table, I'll be doing it to everything. Until then, I have the clips because that that uh, the table right now is aluminum, so magnets won't work. Uh, as far as the fluid, it uh, almost all of it drained out. That's good. Keeps the shavings flowing forward as well. It makes the cleanup a little bit easier. And uh, yeah, all in all, I'm very happy with everything here. Everything worked out. And uh, stayed clean. And uh, yeah. And oh, uh, as soon as I uh, as soon as I uh, start uh, cutting again, which would be soon, I have a couple of projects, and uh, I'll be posting them and see how much uh, much better they turn out uh, with. Uh, with cutting fluid now. Alright, thanks for watching.